All right, very, very good job in all the performance. A uh, couple mistakes in the chord stuff. Probably just typos, but uh, we'll cover that here in just a second. Uh, yeah, but what you played is exactly what it needs to be. So that's why I think maybe you just had a couple typos uh, in what you filled in. Because everything sounded good. All right, so the new rhythm, new strumming stuff. This is basically like the same rhythm you did last time. Uh, it's just laid out a little bit different. So last time each line had one rhythm, right? Well, now we're gonna go between those rhythms or switch rhythms a little bit faster. So that's one rhythm there looking at it two different ways. That's the next rhythm, looking at it two different ways. That's the next rhythm, two different ways. And the fourth rhythm, two different ways. And then the real fun begins. Well, it's more fun anyway. The real fun's the last line. Um, but each bar is a different rhythm. And then we go through the same pattern again, same rhythmic pattern. You're looking at the different way of notating it. But uh, there's m more chord movement happening here. So see all those chord changes there? You might, you just might want to highlight that and solo that part. In fact, any of the stuff that's giving you trouble when you're learning these new things, highlight what needs the most focus. So you could, because this is the, um, say the easiest of the bunch, I think. You maybe you just want to focus on looping that for a little bit, get comfortable with that, and then maybe loop this section, get comfortable with that, because the rhythm changes every single bar. So definitely more work than here. And then this guy, definitely Definitely worth looping over and over again so you get the hang of it. But um, I put the chord changes in places that, at least for me, felt very natural. So hopefully they do for you as well. Here we go. Let's drop this down to 60. And get at it. One, two, three, four. One and, and, and four. I just realized I forgot to add something. I forgot the chord numbers. So let's see if you can say what the chord number is going to be while I type it out. So here we go. The A5 is chord number six. And then we got five. Next we got three. Back to the five. Back to six, five, one, the two, the three, the five, the two, the one, six, five, six. Back to that five. Lots of chord changes here. Six, five, three, 
five, three, five, six, five, and six. So after we are done really drilling the heck out of the pentatonic stuff, we will get into, we'll say the missing chords, chords uh, four and seven. But yeah, still just want to keep doing things like this with the chords that fit perfectly with those pentatonics, um, pentatonic shapes that is. So if you felt like it, you could also change this into like those, the clean chords. So my mouse keeps rolling over something. There we go. So like you could strum the A minor instead of the A5, you can strum the G major instead of the G5. So like a one and and do. If you felt like it. But uh, anyway, let's continue on at 120. One, two, one, two, three, four, one. For the 160 as well. One, two, one, two, three, four. Take two. One, two, one, two, three, four. One. to this uh, let me see okay yeah let me pull up I hear this works here and just change that to this okay so uh, let's see scrolling through here there's a couple things so right here that's one so I just put uh, a rest symbol back there or in the bars that need to be corrected so that a minor that needs to be updated there's something else where the heck is it oh there it is and that C5 so yeah those are the only two chords I found that had some some wrong notes tabbed out Again, I think it was just some typos. We just want to get that filled in proper. A uh, good thing to do, what I try and do when I write these things out, is I listen back on Guitar Pro. So, you know, type it all in and then play it, listen to it, make sure everything sounds good. If something stands out and it's like really jarring or just like, man, that sounded weird or wrong, that's probably because something is wrong. So, yeah, definitely listen back to it each time. Uh, to make sure that it sounds good to you. So yeah, um, I'm going to do a, a similar thing where I have the Roman numerals listed and I want you to fill in the chords. So yeah, fill in the chords, you know, definitely use your guitar to, you know, just double check things, you know, like, yep, this is how you play this chord and that chord and so on. Yeah, fill in the chords, send it over. This way I can verify, like, yep, you got everything 100%, and then it'll be time to practice it, you know, and get it down. Um, so let's see. Basically, I've finished, uh, we're, we're going to finish going through the rest of the scales. And I'm going to start with the newest stuff. 
Let me make a change to how this looks real quick. Actually, I need to be right here. There we go. Okay, so this is going to be doing shapes four. Jesus, so I can fit it all on screen here. Let me do something. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so basically, you're going up shape four, down shape five. So this is playing it up an octave higher than uh, what you have been working on so far, but it's the same shape, same notes. And then you're going to do the same thing again, but an octave lower. And then we go up shape four. I mean, sorry. We're going to go up shape five, down shape one. So here we go, playing the new stuff. 60. One, two, three, four. Yeah, so as far as scale memorization, so yeah, we're going for the whole thing. So, basically, we want this now.
Once you get all that memorized, we're going to move on to the next thing. At least, we're going to be doing a descending thing instead. So, you worked on the shapes that like going up and down each one individually. Now you go up one, down the next. We're going to have you go down one, up the next. Um, so this way you get good experience, you know, kind of connecting things this way. I want you to do the same thing going that way. And then, then we're going to start adding those notes in. So just really want to make sure you got a damn good understanding of this stuff. So when we add more and more and more and more, and good Lord, is there a lot. Just want to make sure you're, uh, that it all sinks in. Okay, any questions, let me know. I will see you again next week.